Hello and welcome to uh, Outdoor Projects Unlimited. Today uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, kind of try to use this landscape rake to uh, rake up some rocks uh, so we can plant some seed down here where I filled back filled this uh, gas line in the garage uh, a little while back. And uh, now this landscape rake is pretty rough shape, but um, we're going to see if we can get it to work for what we need to do. I mean, it's missing times and they're all bent up and stuff, but we'll adjust it in a way and try to make it work for what we want to do. But this top link is froze up here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this off first and get this top link freed up because um, we're going to have to adjust this. And uh, we'll get started with that first. This one here is frozen. I got this in the move, and we'll uh, we'll grease that up and stuff. But I need to get this and freed up. To get this and freed up here. All right. First thing I usually do with these is uh, it's not an everyday thing, but I'm gonna put this in the vise. thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little plastic piece of cap off. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat this up a little bit and it'll expand the metal a little bit and allow some penetrating oil to come down in here. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Grease this too, but we just wanted to get some penetrating on it to initially get it moving. You know, just get some lube thread down in there.
point what we're going to do is we're going to sandblast this rust off these threads uh, and uh, sandblast the tube a little bit but a lot of the paint's gone so we're going to give that some paint and uh, blast that rust off of those and then we'll proceed with putting it back together. tube. Same thing with it. We're going to cut in the loose flaking stuff off. were wondering uh, what I use in these cabinets is not it's not actually sand it's actually a a uh, fairly heavy cutting glass bead mix uh, it's called scat magic but it's uh, you get it from the people I, that I got this cabinet from uh, they're made in uh, Canfield Ohio get you a picture of the tag here. This is the uh, company. It's 
Scott Blast. Uh, they're made in Canton, Ohio. They're entirely USA made. Um, the good cabinets, they have all the parts in stock, any replacement consumable parts you need. Uh, this one comes with a dust collector system. And uh, we have these at work as well, where I work at. And uh, I have one here at my house to use also. But they're good cabinets, parts are readily accessible, uh, good people to deal with. Okay, I have my pieces here now uh, cleaned up. Um, cleaned up good. And what we're going to do at this point is just blow these out with air, make sure there's no remaining blast media inside. And then uh, we're going to grease these and put this together. First thing we'll do is check these grease fittings and make sure that they do put grease out. I'd say this thing was probably like this since it was new. It was never really greased. Take this little pick tool. We're going to make sure these balls are free. Because there's a little spring inside that fitting. But if there's rust or something in that in there, and maybe a little bit of blast media, it isn't going to allow that to spring back nice so when you grease it look grease and stuff will come back out the hole all right we're going to see if we can shoot a little grease in there okay Okay, we shot some grease in there. So all we want to do is put a little bit in the threads here, as far as your finger can go. So when we thread the rod in, it'll take the grease on down into the thread. Take your finger and work it into the threads the best you can. Just work it in there. And we'll put a little bit on these threaded rods here. Kind of work that down into the threads too. Now these top links, they only go together one way because one's a right-handed thread and one's a left-handed thread. So you'll be able to tell real quick. Okay, so that's the wrong one for here. That one goes into the bottom. What we have is in the bottom right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this nut away up. I'm going to 
put some grease on this one. Okay. Okay, that's that one. Let me go wipe my hands off here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run this down. And some of that grease is going to come out. You're going to see a little bit, but. You can see how nice and smooth it's running now. We blasted that rust out of there. And at this point, if we keep it greased up every now and again, should be good shape. Shouldn't have a, shouldn't have a problem. Okay, that's one side down. This baby around. Now this one is going to be left-handed thread, see? So when it's on the tractor and you got both pins hooked up, you can adjust the tube and it'll these will go in and out by just adjusting the center tube because these two these two will have pins in on on the uh, when you got when you're hooked to an implement. Okay. She's ready for a little bit of paint. <laughs> okay here's our top link uh, I know a lot of people have frozen top links you know issues uh, and hopefully this helps you get one going again if you have that problem now some of them are going to be worse than others but the general principle usually always works the, the heating the tube uh, and making sure the one end is stationary and then working it back and forth. Maybe tap on a little bit with a hammer until you get it to break free. Um, and then clean the threads, put it back together with new grease, you should be good to go. Uh, but um, anyhow, uh, hopefully that helps somebody out if they have a frozen top link. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.